Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm AJ. Hey guys, it's Tanya. And today we are checking out some more DPR Ian. So this one oh, here is uh, Memories and Disorder official Mito documentary. So I'll let you introduce it further. Uh, well, it's uh, I I don't have much else to say. It's gonna be thirteen minutes video, so um. It's going to be him talking about his disorder and about uh, the whole process of uh, how he decided to start making his own music and how how the whole process went for his first album and how yeah just I I thought it's important to for you to witness um, yeah. for for more for for further understanding of the artist and um and his art i guess so yeah How you oh, shit. for the longest time i felt like i had somebody else inside me it felt like just a complete opposite world in which i was living in a world that was very uh, monotone. Yeah, it was very black and white, and um, my whole life I I battled with this, I guess, other individual until I finally decided to make him come to life, and his name is Mido. So I wanted to start my album with. The introduction to who Mido was, the beginning, the birth of Mido. I didn't have to think too much of what it might sound like. Oh, I got a nod. Sorry. Oh. Okay. I'm just trying to stay alive. Take the fire down. Don't want to be alone. Keep the fire down. Don't want to be alone. This whole album like, is just yes. so good. Okay. No I skips. Need, I need something. I need a I battle listen to it so much. something like that. Something very glorious, but at the same time very uh, triumphant. So Beautiful was, um, I guess, very inspired by the idea that something so dark and sinister is actually something that's usually the most misunderstood. I wanted to depict Mido in his most darkest form. And the video for that, yeah, gosh. <laughs> First day of the shoot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's cold, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm like this, and then but then my is like, you know, like like smiling or like So, you know, growing up, I also had a lot of struggles when it came to relationships. Uh, as high as you go, um, your lows and your dips, you tend to push away the people that really care for you. And that's how I experienced a lot of uh, heartbreak. And I decided to make that into a song called Dope Lovers. 
Was it for a kiss or was it from the kiss? Because honestly, I think a lot of shit happens after the kiss. True. <laughs> Maybe the ending for that, you know. You know, dope is also associated with a drug. So in terms, it's such an addictive love that you can't stray away from it. But at the end of the day, you just keep coming back for more and more. No Blueberries. Um, I actually made that song about two years ago. I remember at the time I was feeling very angry. I don't know about what, uh, but I've just figured I'd make a song about just people that you don't associate dog, yourself with. <laughs> that you're not very familiar with and yeah. no matter what you do, you just can't she, connect she, to them. Her name is Laurie. And I associated <laughs> that with Blueberries. 이건 이제 욕은 가족 자켓이고 와, 좋아. 그리고 이거는 그냥 블랙 진인데 부츠 컷으로 되어 있는 거고. 음. The way it's walking, you know? Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna do something like that. <laughs> made a lot of bad decisions in my life and you know for whatever it's worth um, I'm sure it built me to become who I am now but honestly there are times where I regret a lot of my decisions yeah nerves was one of the songs that I had to make to express that <laughs> I feel you're gonna love the nerves. <laughs> I was hurt, I was hurting, I was hurting. This doesn't sound like I'm hurting. <laughs> I was hurting too much. <laughs> Funny. Hey, that's one. John, is, is it okay to curse here in the video? Yes. This is f***ing good. Scary Cat was a song that was inspired by my fear and <laughs> my fear of everything almost. So for Scary Cat, I think what I want is to have this, this character, this other character that's living inside of Mido. You know, Interesting. the one that's always scared, but curious. And I'm sure you've heard of the term, curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> so yep. that's essentially what it is, a scaredy cat. What do you do when you're scared? Two. Three, I absolutely four. love the titles for his songs. Yeah, they are really good. No la la la, you know? <laughs> Four. 
too. I like seeing his process. Yeah, it's very interesting. I've, especially the recording process, because that's something I have a really huge interest in. I would love to learn to do that, like production and recording and... Wow. Welcome to the show. However, you guys should know, with this show comes a lot of anxiety, a lot of doubt, a lot of fear, a lot of stress, a lot of things that I can't explain to you other than this is who I am and this is me. But regardless, I still want to welcome you to my show. Welcome to the show. As the song goes. It's a grand entrance for the acceptance of who Mido is. You know, it's going to be like center stage, takes one breath and just stay. For the show, no candle lights to take you home. I try to hide it, I'm scared of what's next. I still don't know where to go. But welcome to the show. Yeah, I know just dies down a little bit. When I was making No Silhouette, I imagined you know, some run-down mito after he was, he'd been through his whole journey. You know, he's like a superhero, but with every up, it comes it down. I just imagined, you know, Mido went through his prime and now he's coming on the down and as he's coming down, he's returning back to um, Ian. And Ian finally understanding why he needs Mido. The silhouette. The albums. I have no skips. I love all the songs. I lost myself and the sun. I lost myself and the sun. I lost myself. Oh. Doctor Tom. Mm. I want this album. I don't have, 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 have a copy of this one. one. I have a second one. And now the third one. But I don't have this first one. Yeah. Well, I hope they release it again. Because at that time I was not a fan yet. And I, yeah, this is actually a thing. For my Red Album, I always have yeah. can do the same. It's with the heat, it comes up. Yeah, I think you showed then, it when you unboxed it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then it fades right away now. again. I think you showed it when you unboxed it. Yeah, and then it fades away again. I just walked, it's so cold. And they open well, I have it, the same one, but the red bam. one. Have the mirror. I want to have this one. Gonna go right here. Wow. So I mean, up to now, um, a lot of you guys have probably known me for being behind the camera, and I don't know. Now that I'm actually in front of the camera, um, it's been a while. I don't know. I think I'm not used to it yet. But um, honestly, I can say. It's one hell of an experience. It's just <laughs> beginning. I have so much more in store for you guys. Um, yeah, I just can't wait. I can't wait either. Yeah. For his next release. That was yeah. good. I enjoyed I that. I like seeing the process because it's very interesting to me, especially with like writing the music and the lyrics and just how it all comes together and what 
different people's processes are to make everything mesh together and uh, it's something i really wish i could learn how to do because I feel like I would be in my element doing that kind of stuff. So again, this is why I love seeing behind the scenes stuff. I love watching these kind of things. And then it gave me like snippets of all the other songs I haven't heard. And I'm going to need to hear now. I have been really enjoying his music. It just, and he like, I find it very fascinating the way he connects his music to like who he is. And I like that he's, has an outlet to share that like yeah. uh, you know it just it's very interesting to me mm, one of the interviews which i watched with him i watched many um and his live streams he talks a lot about his um um his issues and uh, uh he said in one of the interviews i think maybe with the zach saying he said um his art and the music is uh, the, uh, exactly the outlet. It's the uh, tool for him to navigate. Okay. I think maybe it's like he is building his whole this whole story, this whole universe. Yeah. And uh, it somewhat maybe it gives a structure to his own experience yeah like he's building rules he's building the laws of this world which maybe helps him to also give a structure to his own experience yeah but also it's like we are so lucky to be able to witness all this yes and uh yeah i just yeah he his his music is so special um in that album actually one of my favorite was this um the first song this Mito, the birth of Mito. it's so it's so dark yeah but it's just when i listen to that album it's like a first track i, just, I love it so much because i love cinematic music Mm. It's part of uh, why I like um, this anime Attack on Titan so much, because the music is so cinematic. You listen to the music, you can picture what's going on. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I love that track so much. And, yeah, I'm just, I cannot wait for us to continue. <laughs> so I need you to be on the same track with me. <laughs> yeah. I need yeah. you to be, you know. <laughs> same level. Aware. All the things. Same level, so, 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 yeah, so when something else comes up we can be like excited on the same level you know yes yes i would love that so yeah oh, yeah like i said i am I really enjoying you. his music and just all the insights we're getting on him and like i really do enjoy learning more about artists and like why they write the music they write why they do the the videos they do and like the art behind it so yeah, I'm looking forward to more. <laughs> so. Okay. All right. On that note, next we one will. Is gonna be... Next one's going to be nerves. Okay. <laughs> Good. All right. So we will end this one here. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, join our Discord if you'd like. Link in the description below. Check out other DPR Ian reactions. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye, guys.